Hi everyone, welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Um, absolute pouring rainy this morning when we got to work, but it's all cleared up now, so all's good. Uh, had a horrible week on the racetrack. Uh, sent a really nice horse called uh, London Fog around at uh, Kiton on Tuesday and uh, really expected him to go well. His work was good going into it and looked like a really nice race for him. And, uh, geez, he went terrible. He performed. He got beaten 10 lengths and uh, was scratching our head. And after the race, he'd come back and he actually couldn't, clo couldn't open one of his eyes. And uh, when the vet eventually could get him to open it up, he had a big cut on right on the eyeball. So hopefully he'll come through that OK. But, um, yeah, legitimate excuse for him. Uh, really poor performance for from him but uh, just really uh, I really like the horse so I really hope that he um, comes through that okay. Another filly Cardio missed, she raced pretty poorly, looked, looked um, I thought she looked quite light at the races as well so she's gone straight to the paddock and uh, filly called Myrtle Turtle, we wrote, it's, it's best forms when you've ridden off the speed and got home and she got ridden really handy and uh, was quite weak at the line so probably ride her a little bit differently, maybe step her up in distance but um, yes we can only improve on last week, it was a pretty average sort of week um, but uh, as far as next week goes, we're not going to have a lot of runners. We'll probably run, um, uh, have a couple next week at um, uh, Sartorius will go around in the Turnbull. And uh, I had a little filly called So You Pink down to race this week, but she uh, she just worked too hard through the week and uh, probably left a little bit of her work on the training track. So I, um, she's going up to 2,000 metres for the first time, so I didn't want to race her flat, so she'll um, we'll just tread water with her for a week, give her a nice gallop next week, and then go back to the races over 2,000 metres. Yeah, he's one of our stable favourites, is Froffy. He uh, injured himself in, in his own race start this time, in up at Wangaratta, and just hurt his back. We've unfortunately just had to stop work with him and give him two or three weeks in the paddock and uh, to complete rest. So he's, uh, he's had that now, and this is his first morning back working this morning. And as you can see, he's moving beautifully, nice and loose. So hopefully he's over that little problem and be back at the races in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we were pretty lucky a few weeks ago. Um, we had a beautiful colt called Northern Soul and he got a bit of colic and, uh, geez, he was touch and go there for quite a while, but um, he uh, lost a little bit of weight, but he seems nice and healthy now. So uh, hopefully he'll be back in work, not, not too distant future, but uh, yeah, really, really happy that um, he's come through it well. Yeah, he's probably the future of Emsley Lodge, I suppose you'd say. A couple of really nice young horses, you can see. They're still very woolly from uh, having a cold winter, but they'll um, yeah, plenty of spring grass around now, and the coats will come out, and the horses will really start thriving. The big brown horse right in the middle, or the dark, almost black horse, he's by Statue of Liberty, really nice horse called Geelong Mare. Uh, the horse with the white blaze on his face, he's by Moshe, owned by a couple of really local identities, uh, Turtle and uh, a couple of his mates, and um, also uh, the little us on the, the smaller brown horse of him is by Keep the Faith. He's a lo locally bred horse uh, by Peter and Jim here at Emsley Lodge. Can't believe how hard it is to find a good tipster. Poor old Jimmy uh, had a go last week with no luck. This week we're going to try Debbie Kingshot. She's been a long time client of the stables and a great person for Geelong Racing. Here's Debbie with her tips this week. Hi, I'm Debbie Kingshot and I'd like to thank Emsley Lodge for having me as their weekly tipster this week. Um, I've raced with Emsley Lodge for a number of years, um, having success with Golden Portrait and also now racing a share in the I Am Invincible Colt, which I'm looking forward to racing soon. Um, I've gone straight to Caulfield with my tips this week and I'm heading to Caulfield on Sunday um, with my best bet being race one at number one, um, Reckless Assassin. Um, I think that, that this horse will be very hard to beat. Um, I'm moving then to my value bet um, at Caulfield again on Sunday with race five, number six in Lumisty. Um, I think that's a great each way value bet. Um, so look forward to hearing how those two horses go on Sunday and wishing you all the best of luck and hopefully I'll be back next week. That's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks for watching. Go onto our website and see what's, see what's uh, news on there. Um, probably in the next couple of weeks we'll put a couple of nice young horses that we might be syndicating up. So uh, might be a bit of interest there for a few people. Don't forget to give the Geelong Race Club a call and uh, get book your tickets for the Geelong Cup and uh, make sure you don't miss out there at all. It looks like a great day. Until the next week, see you later.